Hello guys, my name's Richard, also known as Big Bad Daddy on the forums and stuff and this is just a quick video to show you how to create your own custom chairs for the player to sit on uh, out of pretty much anything. Uh, here we are in my test cell, we have here a uh, lot of stuff going on, things I've taught myself. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to use a chopping block because I like that and I will use that as a chair so what we need to do we need to search for the chopping block so we type it in here um, and go to static now this method you can almost use anything as something else so you can create statics out of other items and stuff so we go into the chopping block this is what we're going to use as our as our chair now see here this is the file path what we can do we don't need to extract the NIF file or anything we just drag select the whole file path uh, if it wants to play nice right click and choose copy and then what we do is we want to create a new activator so let's go to activator and we'll type in here something we'll just call it uh, custom chair one uh, it needs to have a name to be activated so we'll just call it log chair like that and now here in the model this is where we use our model from before so we go to edit and then edit again for model file name and then we need to navigate to the Skyrim data meshes folder and we just paste that whole file name in there click OK and then we have our chopping block and we click OK and it's there uh, here we'll also change the word activate to sit because it's a chair you don't activate a chair you sit on it so we'll call it like that so we need to go to here and just type in custom so that we can see it here and we just drag this into a cell into the world here and as you can see it's nicely placed there um, the thing with activators is sometimes they won't work if you've got grid snap on and angle snap and they are at a stiff angle like that so if that's ever the case and it's not working for that reason just put 89.9 or something like that now so this is our activator this is what we've got this is what the player will activate now what we want to do is we want to look for an invisible chair marker so we just type in vis there go to furniture and we're looking for one with the word player in it and that means that the player can use this uh, so we've got single F FL those letters stand for where the player can move into the actual chair so that'll be from the front from front left so because this is quite out in the open we'll just use chair player single just any errors you get you just click OK and here we are with our chair marker so we just move this out of the way press F and get it to the floor so we just keep them separated for now and what will happen is the player will use this as a marker to sit down because if you have a look at an actual chair you see that it's got an object and a marker and the marker shows where the player will sit these indicate where the player will enter so that's why we need to make basically make a custom version of this so let's get rid of that so what we do we need to attach a script to the activator that when the player activates it, it will use this marker. And to do that, we right click on this, we choose edit, and make sure we're on the activator. And we go across to the scripts tab there, right click, choose add. As usual, any errors, just click yes to all. And we want to make a new script. A script, and we'll call it something like my cool chair script. You can call it anything you want. And just make sure as default it says object reference in the box for extends. Click OK. And hey presto, there's our script. Now we need to put our script into this. So we right click on there and we choose edit source. And then I've got the script here which I'll put in the description on the video as well. We just need to paste this into here. And what, I'll explain what this is. This, These are properties in Papyrus. You need to use properties to link objects together. So we've got an object reference property for the chair marker, which is there, and a actor property for the player. 
and this is a, an unactivate event so this script will fire when the player activates this object and it says basically if the person activating is the player get the player to activate this object so we've got that there now we just click file and save and this will compile the script you shouldn't have any errors just close this window and then go into properties and you'll see we've got two properties we need to fill here so we click the player ref because player ref is uh, a, is well it's recognized in the script already as an actor it will automatically link to the player if we click autofill and that'll be the case for almost anything really if you use a uh, an object so if you've got a uh, wolf pelt in there and it's a misc item if you autofill it should pick the wolf pelt automatically now the chair marker ref property is slightly different we need to click edit value choose pick reference in render window and just double click on the chair marker and go back to our script here and you'll see it's uh, linked to there and we just click OK and the icon changes to that when the properties are filled in so we just click OK again and that's done and now we want to move this marker over I want to make sure it looks OK that's fine and now what will happen is when the player activates this log they will uh, sit on this marker so we will save our plugin and then we will test it in game okay so here we are in game uh, this is my test cell um, just, here's the chair now when we go up to it because we changed the activate override it should say sit instead of activate unlike there where it says activate so we click select and there we go and you can use basically almost anything to uh, to use as a chair as long as it's has a mesh and you can set it up as an activator you can have the player sit wherever in the world uh, there's plenty of markers to play around with as well there's some uh, ledge markers where you can have the player sit and look it looks like they're sitting on a ledge and all that stuff but basically that's it um, so happy modding